Proton transfer involves the donation of a pair of electrons from a molecule that we call the base toward a hydrogen in a molecule that we call an acid in an overall process that amounts to moving a proton from HA to B, so that the products are HB+, plus, where the increase in formal charge comes from the transfer of a proton, which is positively charged, and A-, minus, which contains a new non-bonding pair of electrons and a negative charge for this same reason, that we've moved a proton from HA to B. This is a nice context to introduce the idea of an elementary step, because the curved arrows here in the electron flow are relatively simple. So while we'll have much more to say about how we think about elementary steps as orbital interactions and how electron flow works in general, we can start to get a taste of these ideas in studying proton transfer. In a typical proton transfer, or PT, elementary step, a pair of electrons in a molecule that we call the base is donated towards a hydrogen in the acid. The hydrogen is attached to an electronegative atom or another type of atom that wants to accept the pair of electrons in the XH bond, here X is an oxygen, and in the resulting products, the base has increased in formal charge by one unit, while the acid has decreased in formal charge by one unit, owing to the fact that a proton, which is H+, has been transferred from the acid to the base. Using our scheme for labeling electron flows that we've seen before, we can think about this as n to sigma star electron flow, n for the non-bonding lone pair, and sigma star because a sigma bond is broken as a result of donation of the lone pair. An important point that we'll return to later is that curved arrows have physical meaning. And we've talked a little bit about this already. Curved arrows imply localized molecular orbital interactions. We've seen this in a resonance context already. The same is true in elementary steps of chemical reactions. The fact that a non-bonding lone pair is used as the electron source in this process, for example, implies that it's involved as the filled orbital in an interaction with an empty orbital, which in this case, because a sigma bond is breaking, is the sigma star orbital, or sigma antibonding orbital, of the OH bond. So from the curved arrows alone, we can draw a picture of the orbital overlap involved, which gives us some insight. It tells us, for example, that for overlap to be most efficient, the axis of symmetry of the sigma antibonding orbital and the axis of symmetry of the non-bonding lone pair orbital must be coincident. In other words, the two orbitals must be coaxial. That's useful spatial information. Proton transfer as an elementary step is relatively remarkable in organic chemistry for the reason that proton transfers are always rapid, and so they're always thermodynamically controlled or in equilibrium. Another way to say this is that proton transfers are driven by pKa differences. They're driven by differences in acidity, as we've expressed it here, or basicity, which is an equivalent way to express it, in the reactants and products. We're going to unpack this idea over the next few videos.